Hey y'all, it is Elizabeth Off Grid, and today I'm gonna to talk about how I make money. So how do I earn money when I'm living in a car when I'm traveling full time? This video is at the beginning of me living my car full time to travel. So I've only been in my car for two months at this point, not even quite two months. So I'm sure this will evolve as time goes on. So the very, very short answer is I have my own businesses. I haven't worked as an employee for anybody since I think it, the last day I worked at a job was Halloween 2003. So it's been a while. It's been a while. It's almost been 20 years since I've had a regular job. And I've had many different businesses over the years. How I earn money right now is I'm a lawyer and I have a law firm. I Most of the money I earn isn't from traditional legal work anymore. How I earn money is I have a YouTube channel for that law firm that earns money directly from Google, from directly from the ads on the videos and actually earns a, a thousands of dollars. And I'll talk to you about that in a second. And I have a Patreon that's over a thousand dollars a month. And then I do a little bit of legal work. Now my law firm is a corporation. So it's not like someone buys something, someone signs up for my Patreon and I get that money exactly in my own personal checking account. It goes into my corporate account and then I pay myself a salary. My salary is a thousand dollars a week. I actually pay myself monthly, but that's what it is. It's a thousand dollars a week. Now, sometimes I pay myself more than that. So last year, I my YouTube channel was doing really, had a, some really good high months of ad revenue. I also did some extra legal work for people. And so I made some distributions, which is where you have your corporation write an actual check to yourself as the owner of the business. That was, I think a couple thousand dollars in a couple different months. So in theory, my kind of goal for that business is to be paying myself about $6,000 a month, more or less. But right now, I am kind of in this transition period still with like having enough time to work because I'm dealing with all the setting up your new life stuff. And so the thousand dollars a week salary, I've been able to pay myself relatively consistently. And then the distributions I haven't really been able to do for a little while. Hopefully that will ramp up again. A lot of that does depend on the ads. So my, the channel makes consistently $2,500 a month in ad revenue, but I have some months where I make $3,800. You know, it just really depends on the month. It, it goes up and down a lot depending upon the ad budget of the companies who advertise. That channel does really well on ad revenue because it is business to business channel. And that means the ads pay significantly more than it would on a channel like this. I also have a Patreon, like I said, that's over a thousand dollars a month. And then I just have some legal work for, for former clients. Like I don't take any new clients from my law firm because that's too much of a multitasking thing, but I still have clients that I've had for many, 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 many years. And so I still do some legal work for them every month. So there's a little bit of money that comes in through there. And the idea is to make enough money to pay myself at least that monthly salary. So that's my biggest source of, of income there. The next income that I have right now is I own a house in another state that I've never lived in. I lived in the state, but not in the house that I originally bought for a family member to live in, but they moved out. And so now I rent it to strangers and they pay me rent every month. A chunk of that money goes to pay that mortgage, but not all of it. Some of it is income that comes to me. So that's, those are my two big things of revenue is I pay myself a salary from my corporation, from my law firm. The money there is mostly through YouTube and Patreon and a little bit of legal work. And then I have a rental property and I pay myself that way. Now I have more plans. I have plans to monetize this channel in a number of different ways. I have plans to monetize a other channel that I've actually also started that doesn't even have videos on it. It doesn't even really, well, the channel exists, but there's no videos on the channel yet. So I have other ideas for how to generate more revenue and how to pay myself more money, but that's where I'm starting right now. And so and the thing is I did this on purpose. So three years ago, when the pandemic was raging and the income of my law firm tanked, and I decided to really go in really hard into YouTube and, and changing things in my law firm, it was with a vision of this. I knew that I wanted to travel full time 
and live off grid and all these things where I needed more flexibility in my business. So at that time, I was looking at creating a different business that would be more flexible where I could travel full time. Now I had a bunch of different business ideas. The YouTube stuff was the one that worked. <laughs> I had other things that I tried. And this is something that I think is really important. You know, there's a couple important things I think that's important to take away. One is if you want to start a business, you might have to start a lot of different things, different businesses, different business lines, trying to sell different services and products because you don't know exactly what's going to work. No Nobody can predict for sure. Big giant corporations that have been around for decades, they launch stuff that doesn't work. You have to try many, many things and a lot of times multiple things at the same time and then which one works, you, you go all in with that. You know what I mean? The second thing is it can take years. So I started that YouTube channel with the eye of giving it three years and I gave it three years and here we are. So I think two to three years is a very realistic time frame, a fairly reliable time frame to start a business and have it be able to pay you a salary. This channel is brand new. So it hopefully will get monetized by the end of the year, next year, something like that. I have all kinds of plans to make money on it besides ad revenue because ad revenue on a channel like this will be much, much smaller than on my other channel because the people who watch it are not businesses, you know? So it's a very, it's, it, they, different stuff will be advertised. It'll be more like soap will be advertised instead of things that cost thousands of dollars. You know what I mean? So the ads won't pay as much, which totally makes sense. So there's other ideas I have to use this channel as a business because this isn't just a hobby. This is a business. And then I even have another channel that I'm starting and I have ideas for how that will generate revenue as well. But I'm giving that two to three years to actually pay myself real money you know in the beginning it'll just be you know I'll probably have ad revenue in a month of like you know 27 cents or or 12 dollars or like these tiny amounts of money where YouTube doesn't even give them to you you don't actually get a distribution from YouTube until you hit 100 bucks is the last I looked so it will take a while and that's fine because I have my law YouTube channel and my legal business that is keeping me afloat until that can make money I really think it takes two to three years to build up anything enough to be able to pay yourself a salary. And so in between now and then, you really have to have some other way you're making money, which could be living off of savings. It could be getting seasonal work. It could be getting some virtual work. I mean, there's all kinds of different things you can do to keep yourself afloat until businesses that you create are actually able to pay you. Now, occasionally it happens faster. There are people who have their channel monetized in the first month. There are people who are making thousands of dollars within a month or two of starting a business. I mean, it, it, is, it doesn't mean that it has to take two or three years. You might get lucky, but luck is not a business strategy. Luck is not a reliable way to make money. Reliable is to give it enough time. So I'm sure I'm gonna update this video in the future and do a new video about how I'm making money now, you know, a year from now or whatever it is when things change. But that is how it is in the summer of 2023. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.